Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy xme 26 here, and today I want to show you guys this cool tool that I made, which can um patch files with the character icons of your choice. And the reason why I made this tool in the first place was because, as you guys may know, replacing character icons can be a lot of work, especially if you're replacing like a lot of them. And I figured, why not create a tool that can make the job so much easier and faster? And so I just want to share you guys my creation and yeah so i'm just gonna get straight to the point so basically how this works is that you have the character icons over here it's in a folder called character icons by the way you can have them set to different type of formats such as the pngs and the tpo doesn't matter and for the names you can have them set to you can have them set to either like the basic standard names such as baby mario donkey kong peach whatever or you can also have them set to like the vanilla names. It's up to you guys, doesn't matter. And to run this tool, you just have to double click over here called character icons tool dot bat. And also I forgot to mention that you do have to install Wings SCS tools, otherwise this will not work. So yeah, um, anyways, so the first option, pretty straightforward. All of the icons in this folder will patch these files over here or whatever you have over here. This can also patch files for CTGP and the and the Korean files. I just didn't include I just didn't include them here because I don't have them. So yeah, they, they work with um those type of files too. So for the second option, how that works is that let's just say you have like icons for from um race.scs and you want to like copy and paste all of the icons to these files. Well, that's basically what the second option does. It just copy and paste the icons from one from one source to the rest of the other files and for option three pretty straightforward you just um select the front you just select an, an ses and it will and will extract the icons to this folder and it, it will create a folder called extracted icons and yeah anyways i'm gonna show you guys the first option on what it does so i'm just gonna press one and you will get this uh, message to like let you know that I will be using the first option and it's going to be using all of the character icons from this folder and it's going to be patching it to these files over here as you guys may have tell and I'm just going to skip forward until it's done. So once it's done, you will get this message. Um, I do plan to upgrade this tool in the future, like an actual program instead of a batch and hopefully it will be supported to Linux and Mac OS if I get that far into programming. Hopefully, I really hope I do. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, there's that. So let's just check the files out. And you get, you see in a moment that I do in fact have icons change, as you guys may have tell. So yeah, it works. So then now let's try the second option. So I'm just going to be using the one over here, which is my personal race.scs. So I'm just going to click option two and you have like pages you have three pages you have like the standard ses you have the, the press nine you have um the korean files which i don't have press nine again we have the ctgp files which i also don't have unfortunately so yeah i'm just gonna be using i'm just gonna be pressing seven and if you don't know what to choose just just press three or or if three doesn't work just press two, whatever. So now that that is done, we're gonna check um, the files. Let's check menu single the SES and see if that works. I'm just gonna go over here, and as you guys may have tell, all my character icons have been replaced by my own from the one from the from the one from Race SES. Pretty cool. And for the third option. Pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna be using. So I'm just going to press three, and I'm going to choose seven. So now, if I go to character icons, you will see all of my extracted icons will be in this folder. And yeah, so if I go over here, I have this. I will have that. Blah blah blah. You get what I mean. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you use the the character icon tools pretty easy to use not really hard at all i hope you guys find this tool really helpful 
And if you guys have any suggestions or requests, maybe I might accept them. I'm not sure. Again, I do plan to upgrade this tool in the future. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be making any major updates in the future. But yeah, I do plan to make this tool compatible with Mac OS and Linux. Well, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video and peace. Ouch, that hurts.